Hey you, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. I'm your friendly neighborhood content creator. I wanted to talk to you guys about Kazaha and why you might actually have a potential rerun coming in the near future. So Kazaha, as you guys know, <laughs> I think he's the most fun Genshin Impact character in the current game. Um, I've had so much fun with him. He fits in so many teams, not only that, but like his buffing abilities is incredible. His design, whatever it is. Kazo's probably my absolute favorite character in the game, and there's a good reason for that. So we're gonna go over a few things I wanna talk about in this video. I'm gonna talk about, of course, all his abilities. I'm gonna show you guys a showcase of him in the Abyss, and I'm gonna show you guys why it's really important for you guys to actually summon on him when his banner does come around. And there's a pretty good chance that it does because of the amount of reruns going on in Genshin Impact. Not only that, but we've only got one character that's been announced for the future banner banners which is Yai Miko and I know a lot of you guys are excited for her as well but that is for another video so let's talk about Kaza so as you guys can see my Kaza has a you know a decent amount of HP <laughs> uh decent amount of attack defense is actually way too much but his elemental mastery as you guys can see is a 712 Kaza actually gets elemental mastery as one of his ascension I think his attention does give him elemental mastery this is super important because his kit is based on elemental mastery as you guys can see i have the iron sting on him this is a completely free play weapon on him it has a base attack of 510 elemental mastery of 165 it actually increases your all damage so any damage you do it increases by a bit not very important this part is just the elemental mastery that's important here as a you probably have to run him on a four piece viridescent especially because he's an animal character not only that but his swirl will do so much damage and of course the you know two piece set bonus but Kaza's constellations are actually really really big the c1 allows you to get a new reset on his e skill which is you know the whole up and down plunge attack thing this is so good and i'm actually really considering getting his c1 right his c2 is also big because i get an increased elemental mastery of 200 after using his ultimate this is insane so any character within the field gets an increased amount of elemental mastery this will make your casa so powerful obviously your c3 increases talent c4 is also pretty good as well gives you more energy but it's not that important E5 increases talent and C6 actually gives you the ability to get animal infusion. Still not that important. So if you want Kaza and you want constellations, stop at C2. Or even C1, really, really good. But C2 is the big one as well. Now his talents, you actually have to raise all of his talents in order for him to be super super strong. So obviously he has the element of skill, which does plunge attack damage. And because of that, you actually have to have the normal attacks leveled up as well to, get, to actually make the most out of it. And Kaza Slash will also deal a lot of damage within the AoE as well. And also gives you that, that nice swirl reactions as well. Now, this is the really important part. Kaza, after he uses his elemental skill, he's going to absorb the, you know, the whole cryo, hydro, whatever it is, in order to do swirl. And once the swirl occurs you get a 0.04% elemental damage bonus for each point of elemental mastery that you have. So if you stack elemental mastery, you're going to get <laughs> so much value out of Kaza. So it's really, really important that you guys uh, consider that when you're building Kaza. So as you guys can see, I pretty much put elemental mastery on every single one of his things um, because that's what he needs. Except for this, I put um, you know, animal damage bonus because even though it's really, really good to you know, stack Elemental Mastery on him, I think having Animal Damage also is really good because he is pretty powerful himself. Um, currently, he's at 35.127, which is not the best, but I am using him as a support. So if he crits sometimes, it's kind of cool. If he doesn't, it's whatever. Now I'm going to show you guys the absolute best team in the game and why Kaza makes it so much stronger in the Abyss. All right, here we have Tartaglia, Gaza, Xiangling, as well as Bennett, all of which will make this team absolutely pop off. And I'll show you guys the reason how, you know, Gaza is so strong, right? Um, I'm going to be doing like two runs of this. The first run is just without Kaza, just 
to show you guys the damage potential. And then the second run will be with Kassa. Let's go. I'm gonna do this. Do that. Do this. Alright. Now we're not gonna use Kaza. I'm just going to go with this. As you guys can see, my Shangling does about 30,000 damage with her um with her burst when crit. Oh pretty strong. Uh of course with Benny Buff and whatever. Now we're gonna try again with Kaza. Alright, now we're gonna use Kaza into the mix, and this is about to get nuts. Just 40,000. I'm pretty sure I saw 40,000 damage. And just look at the amount of, you know, buffs you get from Kaza. The amount of swirls. The the damage even is much greater. Kaza so is just one of the best supports in the game. If not, the best support in the game. Because of how good the kit is. It's just so powerful. It's easy, easy to build as well. If you just stack elemental mastery, super easy to build. And you don't have to worry too much about it. Um... So yeah, really, really powerful stuff from Kaza. So if I had to be honest, ladies and gents, I would say Kaza is a must summon character 100% of the time. This character is so good, not only in battle or whatever, his character design looks amazing. Uh, his general movement and the world for exploration, amazing. You can double jump basically. Um, when you're gliding, you can reposition yourself you know go backwards or something one of the best characters that uh you know i've seen in the game he's so good and hopefully we see more characters like this honestly you animal characters are just the most fun in my personal opinion but yeah thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you guys did enjoy this video if you did consider liking this video subscribing to the channel as well see you guys in the next video very soon bye